I worked in this building for five years. Two had uh, four cubes in it at the time. This was my office and this was the view I had. Not a bad view. You can see the parking lot down there. But this is my cubicle right here. And that's uh, my former co-worker Tannis. She used to climb over that wall there to talk to me all the time rather than coming around. There's something I wrote, farewell CAC. But this was my cubicle for about three plus years. Uh, we called this one the pole cube because it has a has a pole here, as you can see. It's all the way to the ceiling. It's part of the construction, so you can't move it. But this was where this was a temporary cube for a lot of people. Uh, that would be the uh, co-op students and stuff. And then you can see the view that we had out this window see somebody had scratched their name and they're probably, you know, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 70 years ago. And this cubicle. And uh, this cubicle right here. You can see the view again. I'll take you into my cube here. Or this is my last office that I had. I only had it for a few months. It's kind of a mess right now, but uh, the uh, the office of dreams. It could have been so much more. There again is the view, but you can see these holes that are in here. These are all from the shelving unit that I took out. I used to display all my football helmets on it and everything. It was a small little office, but it was an office that I really and only had it for about three, four months before the whole whole thing collapsed. And uh, into 304 here. Now 304 was actually my workout room for a while. Uh, this was also where they uh, they had. Uh, Conservatory used to be here. You can tell that by the drum set there. Let me turn on the lights here for a second. And the drum set there. So they'd have music and stuff here. Uh, kids learning how to play instruments and stuff. So yeah, this is room 304. Oh, there's my uh, in use do not disturb sign. That was for when I was working out and uh, just to make sure nobody would walk in on me working out. There's our bathroom caretaker. This is where a really good guy, Nate, he was the last caretaker of this floor. He did such an outstanding job. And this is room 306. So there is an optical illusion in here. I don't know if the camera's gonna capture it, but there's a, uh, if you can see the legislative building there. Ah, uh, won't capture it all that well. Oh well, but this is the view out here anyway. This is another one of those rooms where people would, uh, during kids camp and stuff, these would actually make really nice condos. Uh, <laughs> They just totally would make really nice condos. Just gonna go into the, the banister here. And you can see that just 
a big, beautiful window here. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep the window and the stairwell. Uh, no reason to get rid of it. 303. Again, another music room. This one had a rug on the floor, so the acoustics were a little bit better here. And again, you can see the great view of downtown Regina that it had. But uh, yeah, just a big open empty space. It wasn't used very much, and that's part of the reason why we're doing this reno, because not a lot of people use this. So there's the end of 306. Now here's a legendary room. This is uh, 305. Now 305, I don't know if you can capture it here. This was the ladies' parlor room. So back in the day when it was first built. And the ladies would come in here and gather. This actually turned into a boardroom in later years. And you can see there's a chalkboard there now. Had a great view, would have loved to have turned this into an office, but you know, because look at that view, that's fantastic. One of the cool things here, I don't know if you can capture it. Uh, I think that's about the best I can do. That is a signature by Clarence Dark, the uh, one of the sons of uh, Francis Dark, who uh, paid $80,000 to start this uh, building. That's amazing. Back in those days, uh, $80,000 would be about $1.7 million, or $1.2 million today. So, this is room 308. This used to just sit empty for the longest time, but this was an uh, office for two or three months before he couldn't use it anymore, so... Yeah, he was unhappy about that one. Nice, nice office. Here's the dance studio. And the dance studio would also make a really nice condo. I think the third floor is probably the most interesting floor of the bunch, but... Venture into room 311. Uh, this room was occupied by a marketing person. Uh, she actually turned this into a bit of a spa. It looked really cool. So, and the very end, another office here, number 313. She was the uh, marketing manager. And they had nice views, hey?
sunroom thingy happening here. It's a rainy day out today. But that's the view. Kind of neat. And then we go into 315 here. Kind of a mess. But the neat thing about this room is kind of like, a, it reminds me of a Dutch style, Dutch home style. And now we're in uh, 317, a Miss Fitzpatrick. Apparently she was in this room for about 35 years-ish, somewhere in there. And just as the building was being shut down is when she decided to retire. So the timing for her was actually pretty good. She spent the majority of her career here probably working on that piano right there. And this would have been her view. Of course, this would have been a room that would have been cluttered up with, with different things, but she got a pretty cool view here, as you can see. It's downtown Regina. Not a bad view. And this one takes you to the tower rooms. I've already done that in a previous video. Uh, this is 314. Another conservatory. So you can see there's the chalkboard. And then he has a nice view here. Big tall windows. Actually, I wouldn't mind an office like this. It's a great view. You can see the construction taking place. And uh, there's the college at Tower. It goes all the way to the top there. All the way to the bottom, and there's the uh, the ramp for wheelchairs. So yeah, actually a pretty decent view if you ask me. Pretty decent view. Nothing wrong with that view at all. She's in an office. I could totally get in. totally. that room in the tower room. I'm going to show you the view out the window here. And there's the legislative building.
studio in the tower room. I'm ready up one flight of stairs. Wascana Lake here. Windows are a little dusty. There's the legislative building again. So anyway, these are the tower rooms. That's what the, the very top of the tower room. 